All right, guys, week one is in the books. Um, pretty eventful first week. A um, couple of blowouts, a couple of good games. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do, uh, just kind of run down uh, some winners and losers and uh, kind of head, head on to next week. So uh, I'll try to make this video a little shorter than the last one. Um, so first matchup, we had Weiler against Roofer, and Roofer... Uh, did not fare too well. Weiler put up 147, and that's with Derek Carr getting him almost nothing. Um, Derek, um, gosh, you know, Deshaun Watson, he's going to have to get his shit together. Otherwise, uh, it's going to be a rough year for you. Um, Weiler, really good win, um, especially with Carr not doing too much. He's going to, so why, yeah, Weiler, he's playing Landon this week. He's going to look to continue that streak against Landon. So um, next up we had Landon, she says with attitude against uh, Lemke, oily hips. Uh, um, I, I don't even know what that means, but it's hilarious. Um, yeah, uh, Lemke kind of got destroyed, not destroyed, but you know, you only put up 105, Landon put up 122, you know, both got over a hundred, but um you know, Landon had a pretty good week, and that's with Derrick Henry not doing that much. Um, so, yeah, we'll we'll see. It was a good good win for Landon. Uh, and then we had Burns against Evan. That was a complete and other fucking beatdown. Beat him by a hundred, a hundred and six, hundred and seven. Damn. Yeah, Evan, you got your shit rocked last week. That sucks. Burns, you know, I gave Burns' team a lot of shit in my first video. Um, his team went nuts this week. I have, listen, I'm, I'm kind of standing with, with where I was at. Um, Burns, he's probably going to continue to prove me wrong. But, um, again, I just don't think the team is very deep. Every single player on his squad went nuts. Just went nuts, and that's not going to happen every single week. Um, Evan got some work to do. Uh, you know, LaShawn McCoy kind of didn't do shit for you. Um, Delvin Cook was okay, but, yeah, I mean, we'll see. Hopefully he can put up a better showing next week against uh, against Roofer. That'll be, a, that'll be a fun matchup to watch. Um, and then we had me against Prusky. Um, I had an okay week. Uh, David Johnson and Zeke didn't didn't really do a whole lot, so I'm kind of happy to be you know to be one and zero. Um, Prusky had a pretty good week. Um, it was okay. Doug Baldwin got hurt, got him zero. That you know, it's tough to come back from that. Uh, and then we had Lemish against uh, Boggs. Boggs put up, I <laughs> fucking beat his ass down too. Beat him by 85. Um, Lemish still only put up 103. Um, you know, you're going to have to put up more in this division, Lemish. Like, welcome to this division. You're going to have to score points to win. You know, it's not like last year and the year before that and the year before that when, oh, I put up 100 points, I'm probably going to win. No, not in this division. This division, if you put up less than 120, there is a got to be a 90% chance you're going to lose. Um, so, yeah, you got to figure out a way to put up points. Boggs. Uh, big week again. I mean, you know, a lot of your players went, uh, went off. So yeah, really good week. And then we had uh, Gar against Yach. Yach had a really good week. Uh, 138, man, Tyreek Hill looks pretty good. Um, Gar, Gar needs Wentz to come back. Um, and, you know, hopefully he's back in a few weeks, but, um, yeah, that's kind of a rundown of what happened last week. Um, moving forward, we have some pretty fun matchups. Uh, week two, we have Weiler against Landon. I am I am gonna make picks. I am gonna pick. Uh, I'm gonna pick each team too um, that I think is gonna win. And in in this one, I'm I'm gonna take Weiler. Um, you know, you put up 147 last week. That's with your quarterback not really doing shit. So um, yeah, I think Weiler's gonna. I think Weiler's gonna handle Landon. Um, then we have Burns against Lemke. I'm taking Burns. Uh, Lemke's team, it's good. He has, you, you have some really good players, but, um, you know, you have some players with high ceilings, but low floors, um, Burns, 
you just have a team like it just an injury prone team with super high ceiling like everybody has a super high ceiling but you could end up with every single player being hurt one week you know uh so we'll see um as the season progresses we'll see how your team ends up um but yeah i'm gonna take burns and then we have evan against roofer <laughs> this is a tough one Evan put up 76 points and Roofer put up 78 points this week. Um, uh, I think I'm going to take Roofer. Yeah, I think I'm going to take Roofer. I don't know. That's a close one. Um, I have a really hard time believing that Deshaun Watson is going to have as bad of a game as he did. Um, both teams need work, but we'll see. Taking Roofer. Um, and then we have... Lemish against Prusky. Um, Projection-wise on this site, um, it's going to be really close, according to the site. Um, I think I'm... I think I'm going to take Prusky. Yeah, I think I'm going to take Prusky. Should be a really good game, though. Should be really close. If Lemish ended up winning, wouldn't surprise me at all. Um, I just think Prusky's got a, he's got a pretty deep team. Um He's got the better quarterback. If Rodgers doesn't play, then I would probably take Lemish. But if Rodgers plays, then I'm taking Prusky. And then next up, we have Gar against Boggs. Um, taking Boggs on that one. Um, although Gar's team, I don't think is as bad as his score said it was last week. Uh, so I think Gar's going to put up a little bit of a better fight uh, than you would think. And then we have me against Yach. And this is actually projected to be the closest game. Um, Yach's team is actually really good. Um, it's just not that deep, in my opinion. Um, but his starting lineup is solid. Um, anything could happen. Uh, I don't love my matchups. And I hate picking my own. I, I just hate picking my own games. But I, I'm going to take... Uh, um, I'm going to take... I'm going to take Yach. I think Yach is going to beat me this week. They're going to be one and one after this week. It really wouldn't surprise me. Um, yeah, T.Y. Hilton. T.Y. Hilton could end up having a, a game. Um, but, yeah, quarterback situation is, eh. Yeah, I'll take Yach. Um, but, yeah, so um, last week, week one, I said Burns team was going to suck. And I said... Uh, and I said Yacha's team was going to suck. They're both, you know, they're both 1-0. Um, and then I said Roofer's team is not very good. He's, his team does suck, though. Without Deshaun Watson, this team, and he doesn't have Mark Ingram either right now. Jamal Williams, Jamal Williams just doesn't look very good. He didn't look, at, again, not against the Bears. Um, he, he just looks like, sh he just doesn't, he, he doesn't have that explosiveness. I am really excited to see what Aaron Jones does when he comes back. I think Aaron Jones is going to be a great bye week filler for me. Uh, but we'll see. He might suck too. Um, but, yeah, just kind of going through. Atlanta seems okay. Burns, you know, Lemish. Yeah, Lemish, Lemish's team, it, it's it's in a tough spot because Le'Veon Bell isn't playing. Um yeah, without Le'Veon Bell, that that lineup it just it's not the same. And then Devontae Freeman might not play this week. Yeah, uh, yeah, things can get pretty dicey for you. Evan, Evan's team I think is a little better than what his score said it was. We'll see. Um, and then yeah, Lemke's got a, he's got an okay team. Wilder's got a good team. Gar, I think he's got a better team than what his score said it was last week. And then Yach, I mean. He's got a good team. Same with Boggs and Prusky. So that's going to be it. Um, one more thing. Make sure you pay your dues on the League Safe site. That has to get done before September 19th. Otherwise, it's a $20 fine. Um, other than that, uh, good luck, everybody, this week.